Okay. Okay, everybody. I'm I'm here for presenting you the new things we are made with the with the Pi Applier. Uh, I'll try to make more a demo than a slide and a slide. So whenever you find something you think you, it should be commented or anything, don't hesitate to, to ask and I'll stop. So um, uh, for the ones that don't know it, it is Paella is an, is an alternate player as they are at the official engaged player for Matterhorn. It's written in HTML5 and JavaScript. And we have just released the new version, we, we call 2.0. We have one first version one year ago at the, at the, at the conference in Harvard. In Harvard. In Harvard. Then we present the second version in San Diego and then the third version to Osnabrück. So I guess we will be we will have a new version at the next time conference if it's not very <laughs> very early. <laughs> so that's the idea. Okay. What do we have new from the from the last time conference? Uh, for me the most important different difference between the last and the new version is that now we have a flash component for fallback. So at the beginning we aim it for a pure HTML5 player with video downloading which was nice, it was fancy, it was a standard, nobody could use that because I had so a strange browser, all browser, my browser is not useful enough or I want to use streaming because of anything. So at the end we resign it and we have make a flash fallback. So there's a flash component that is inside of Paella and replaces the video tag. So all around Paella works the same and talks with that component. So we don't have changed anything on Paella, we only have that flash component. So now you can use Paella from your Firefox browser. Well, in the meantime, Firefox supports MP4, so you can use it uh, in HTML5. Most important, we can have RTMP streaming. Most of our teacher, most many teachers want the recordings not to be downloaded, so it's a must in some cases. Uh, that was from the point of the transport things. On the other hand, we have make a new editor interface. We have resignated from scratch. We'll see in some moments uh, some new plugins. And we have make a work for having all the plugins of the standard engaged player. Some of you tell, I, I like that, but it has no such, this plugin I need the most, this other plugin. So we have make all the plugins as far as we know from the standard engaged player. Okay, so by the moment we have make a promo video, sorry for that, but I have to put it. Hey, sorry, I have audio, maybe. It's just three minutes, so I guess it should be not too bad for you. Okay, full screen play. You can hear that? No sound. Okay, no problem. You don't hear the music. That's our promo video. a bit strange with our sound. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's, it's just some annoying sound. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
somebody will kill me in Valencia, the guy that's making the video and put the sound and so on for having no. Anyway, as you have test the audio, sorry for that. So, um, well, this is the kind of things we have prepared. So, if you go to the to the Paya website, payengage.upb.test, you find the documentation for that. First of all, you will find an embedded Paya but we can go for a list and see our standard demo video. <coughs> so maybe you know that teacher because always in, we show always the same. We have more, but <laughs> but he he gave us permission and he didn't know what he, what he was doing. <laughs> so okay, so I guess um, you've seen more or less what we have. So we have the standard. HTML5 arrangement of Paella, so you can move the slides, select only the teacher, see only the slides, those kind of things that we had. And one change we have done is that in the last release we weren't sure about, about the discussion on the full screen size, like this, or having like in the standard engage player with the tabs and surrounding things around. So the, we have a new button for selecting views. So you have the small video with all the tools around. Then you have the medium size, this down, depending on your, and you have the big one, just a player. And full screen, by the way. Okay, so if, if you open a, a video, uh, sorry, then you can choose your, your arrangement. Mm, about uh, the tools we have, I'm going for the, for the full screen, for the large version, sorry, I guess it's more clear. Okay, we have the subtitles too, the subtitles too, yeah, it will show the subtitles if you have subtitles on Matterhorn for this file. I don't have it for this one, but maybe I can load this one. Sorry. In this. I have subtitles for this. Okay. Yes. Send the subtitles. By the moment, we'll, we only support one subtitles track. So it's in several languages, only gets the, the first one. 
Okay. Also, you have the, um, the embed. So if you want to embed, just take the code and put in your platform. In your platform support iframes, frames, depending on, on your on your CMS. Maybe it's restricted, but there's always ways to change that. More things. We are we have the the statistics tools, the standard statistics tools we had already. And here we have the slides. I'm going for for our usual demo version. I like more. Okay, so here you have the slides. This is the slides that have been recognized. And uh, I will change the view, this one. So a difference between this version and the other one is that when it's stopped, you can browse through the slides. You see it big. And then you can read and go in a, in a more easy way to the point you want from the from the lecture. To do that, you will need well. We take the the screen capture that is provided by Matterhorn, and you know that the that screen capture is low quality. So we suggest, and it's written on the documentation, to modify the workflow to get a high quality version to do that, because if not, get a bit blurred or something like that. But this is the way. The, the explosion, the bug, is, is, um, is on purpose. Sorry, I'm going to close my mail, because in all my presentations, I got a mail. <laughs> Always, it's, it's really horrible. OK, uh, more things. Um, yes, we are using, we have Mimi, we have rewriting all plugins from Matterhorn, as far as we know. So this is the related videos plugin. So it's the videos in the same series. Here we have the OCR result, and you can search in the in the in the SOL server. And and I think that's that's nearly all by for that. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going for the editor thing. If you are, if you have the role instructor for this video, then you you will find a pen, and you go for the editor. When you go for the editor, it changes the, the view mode. So here's the editor, and in the editor we do soft trimming, standard soft trimming. I think. Um, this is something we are quite proud of how it's behaving because what we have made is a multi-track video editor like in, in Adobe Premiere or something like that. The only thing is to save space, all tracks are one upon other. So in this, in this uh, box, you have the available, tool, the available tools. There's one that is streaming, the other is for breaks, it's called recess. So you select trimming, and then you can modify the trim. I'm going to change the zoom. OK, you can soft trimming. OK, I'll do that. If you want to make a break, then you go for recess, create a recess. This is a break. Create a recess. Sorry. This is another break. Okay, so you have uh, you have set the beginning, the end, and make breaks on the on the lecture. If we develop another tool to make things over, it would be in another color probably, and on top of that, uh, when you have that, when you have done that, uh, you can save the changes, save and close editor. Well, okay, I think it's not going out. Well, so 
sorry. Mm -mm -mm. I can't go out. Okay, May I'm not sure. Hmm? I try. I set the trimming. Sorry. Trimming. I set the beginning, for instance. And I make a break. This is, I make a break. Create. Go. OK. I have broken that fancy thing. Maybe we can use uh, time for a question. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no problem. No problem for that. Uh, it's if it should be working, that that it should be that it should be working somehow. Uh, then what we are doing is to put a soft trimming. So we are putting marks on the notation service. So you have a star mark. That is, if you set the trimming, you get the star mark. And if you set the end, you put an end mark. So if you play that video within Paella, Paella downloads at the beginning all the marks and jumps from the beginning to the end. For the breaks, we have done the same thing. So if you put a break, then when the player arrives to the beginning of a break, we'll jump to the end. If you press inside, then there's a, um, there's a sign saying this is a break but you can access anyway over there. Okay. Mm. We are, we've been using the trimming thing for the last semester, and it was good. We have no problem with that. The break tool is new, but we feel pro demo effect apart, it should work. And, uh, and we find that for some use cases is good, but for some use cases don't. So in some cases, you will be more likely with the, more happy with the destructive trimming approach as, as all of, well, as all of, as the, the Osnabrück guys develop it and all of say to us. So uh, somehow we are thinking on, and this is an experimental feature that, that is not done, uh, in making some like a consolidate plugin, something like this. So we are thinking on that when you have prepared your, your lecture and you have made the breaks and you have made everything, to allow the teachers to fill up some metadata and call the trimming services with a, with a, small, with a small file, probably, and make that, that changes uh, hard and make those changes forever. Another option will be allow the teachers to make a, 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 deri a derivated clip. So a clip that is shown of this clip. So, and this will be in the same way. So you here, you can fill up the metadata and go for consolidate. So we think this is something we want to work on for, for the next days. Okay. Um just yeah. a remark to this, you can probably take from the video editor branch the JavaScript for creating the SMIL file together with the SMIL service that we introduced there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, so you don't have to double the work on that as I know that Waldemar and uh, Dennis work quite yeah, yeah, a while I, on making this run no, stable. I, I, and it's yeah. simply based on the same idea that you have here, you have time points within and you can create it by this. And using the annotation service for the marks is quite a nice idea, I must say. Yeah, I um, think I, I, I saw the presentation. I think we will see go for that way, of course. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's good. Okay. May I have a different question, not to the editor. You said that you have, a, for the flash playback, you have a flash component. Yeah. Uh, did you use an uh, existing framework like media elements or uh, video js and so on or did you write your own flash uh, fallback uh, no, component we, we we wrote from our own flashback component okay. in in action script it was not well it was not so hard in mm. in the sense there's no too much lines of code because only the only thing he has to say to do is play and stop 
and fo following the orders of the of the Py uh, JavaScript. And uh, you do the synchronization in the JavaScript, and that works fine for you. Yes, then. yes, okay. the JavaScript is carrying out the synchronization, and it's synchronized fairly well. In fact, we weren't unsure of, of that, but mm -hmm. we have tested it, and and it's working. Well. It's working good. Okay. Well, another thing, another so experimental thing is, or not so experimental, is the comments feature. Comments is not experimental, I know that. So you can make comments for a, for a recording. And there are different kind of, of comments. Some of them are for the whole lecture. And some of them could, could be time, uh, time, time aligned. So you are in sub point and you want to make this comment is at this time. So this comment will be time aligned. Well, mm, this feature is something we're thinking on. It's currently working, but I guess we will work in it more for the next release of Paella. How, how the users should be like, should look, look for that. Well, this is about uh, the Paya player. Uh, some words about how to install, how to manage and everything. So we have make our website, payengage.upb.test or .webs.upb.test. We have, uh, now we have an usage and features guide for the users, something we don't have as before. And we have an installation guide. And in the installation guide, I think it's not only how to install the bundle that is provided into Matterhorn, but also how to enable disabled plugins. Because in your institution, you may want this plugin I don't want because I don't use OCR, or I want this, this another one, or I want to change the arrangement of the views, or I want to, to decide that at the beginning it should be shown the full screen player or the low or the small screen player or that kind of thing. Everything, is, everything as far as we, we are able to do is right in here. And I think that's nearly all. The code is in GitHub for the ones that wants to take a look on that. And, ah, yeah. And two more things. Sorry. Sorry. One is that we have worked for Matterhorn 1.4. There are some issues with the new release of Paella and Matterhorn 1.31. So as far as we expect all of us to migrate to 1.4, we are not putting a heavy effort in, on tuning for 1.31. The old Paella is, all, is working for 1.31. Okay, if there are many people with problems, we can take a look for that. Also, we have a guide for creating new plugins that is quite easy. Uh, so we encourage anyone who has a need to, to develop its own plugins. And last but not least, we have changed our license model due to some reason, we have shipped with GPL. So we expect this shouldn't be any problem for any of, of you. And if you have any problem with that, please talk to us and we can, we can try to provide a license extension for your case. Okay. From, on, from on, now on, we have just uh, put on the version of Paella last week. Then, we want to run that. We eat our own food. So we're installing on our installation and we are running it actively. Actively, We will work on the consolidated and delivered clip. Also on accessibility. We have nearly no work on accessibility provided that some keystrokes. Oh, the subtitles thing, okay. We want allow waiting for subtitles. This is something I should have shown to you. Sorry. So, 
so home the demo server if you go for a video with subtitles like this one and you edit then you see the subtitles you see there now they are locked so they are locked because we have no way no good way for updating the subtitles on on Matterhorn but we feel that for the teachers it would be nice to look at the editor and change the subtitles so I think it's it would be a nice addition and we should do that somehow we'll we're thinking on an iPad and Android integration. We have some problems because in the HTML5 standard on iPad and Android, the, um, there's only, you can only play one video at a time. When you play one video, the other stops automatically. And, and, and so we are looking on what to do about that. At the end, you can run Paella with a side-by-side, -side, but we want to do it much better. So we are not sure about how. And we will finish the integration for, for no Matterhorn sites because Paella supports playing things that are not Matterhorn. So I think that's nearly all. If you want to test Paella with your site in the Paella web page, there's a link for our proxy server. So you can go for any open uh, Matterhorn engage server in the world and you can play any recording even all recordings between in Paella so I guess right. that's the way it behaves so that's all Thanks. <laughs> so thanks for your introduction. Um, now we came to the question and other points.